Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video on Azure, I will show you how you can add additional uh, network interface card to your virtual machine. So there might be a requirement in your uh, infrastructure that you need to have more than one NIC that you need. Maybe you want to segregate your uh, front-end traffic to the back-end traffic. So you might need to have uh, more than one network interface card, and that is what I will show you how to add that. So the first step, you need to make sure your uh, virtual machine or your server is in stopped or in deallocated state, which is in this case. So the name of my virtual machine is VM1, and it is under the uh, resource group with the name demo RG. If I go under networking, you'll see I have one NIC with the name VM177, uh, which is uh, part of this uh, virtual machine, and I'll be attaching one more. Now, depending upon the series of virtual machine that you choose, there is a limitation on how many NICs you can attach. So I'll recommend if you are planning to do uh, maybe more than uh, two or please go through the Microsoft documentation. There is a complete list of how many NICs you can attach to that specific VM. Now, I know that for this uh, virtual machine, which is a B series, uh, I can attach at least two NICs. So let's go and click on Attach Network Interface. Go to Create Network Interface and we'll name this NIC, which is going to be NIC2. It will be under the demo subnet under which my virtual machine is. From here also, you can specify you want to keep it dynamic or static. Even if you don't do it over here, after your NIC card is made, you can also go. So I'm going to leave that to the default. You can also put this under the NSG. You can create new, or you can keep it under the uh, VM1 NSG if you want. So you can do it that from here too. I'm going to leave that to the default. Uh, right now and uh, it will be under the resource group under which my virtual machine is so that it is easier for me to manage because everything going to be under one umbrella and I'll click on create So the NIC was created successfully. So what I need to do is I need to attach. So you see you have the attach and you make sure you pick NIC2. So you see it is I have NIC2 and click on OK. So it is attaching the network interface card to the virtual machine. And I have successfully attached the network interface card. So you can see I have VM177, which was initially that I had. And I have the NIC2, uh, which we just created. I hope you found this video useful on how to attach a network interface card to your Azure virtual machine. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.